Hi, this is Michael, VK5ZEA from Port Lincoln in South Australia. And I've got another YouTube video for you today. And uh, today I'm going to be showing you the German DV repeater board plus the Ambi vocoder board working with a, uh, a Motorola MCS2000 radio um, as a standalone uh, D-Star radio, basically. A Motorola D-Star radio what it, is what it boils down to. Um, you might have seen uh, the video I've got with these radios up at the VK5 REX D-Star repeater site. Uh, these work very well with, uh, with D-Star, with GMSK. And I've got this one set up with some simplex frequencies and also the uh, repeater frequency for, uh, for VK5 REX. And uh, we'll continue on here with the, uh, the actual DV repeater board in its case. Um, this is the end with the, uh, the radio connection. Um, DC in. This is actually operating standalone, no computer attached, so nothing in the uh, micro or mini USB connection. And on the other end is where the uh, speaker microphone plugs in. Um, I've actually made a nice little cutout in the end here for the microphone and speaker socket. Next to it is a uh, an opening where you can access a trim pot which uh, adjusts the speaker level on the speaker microphone. And this is wired up in the Kenwood standard. Um, so I couldn't plug my ICOM microphone in there, but uh, I found a nice cheap uh, Kenwood uh, configured speaker microphone on eBay. Um, and I've also got a little adapter here, you might have seen this before. It, uh, it changes the 6 pin mini DIN configuration to the 9 pin, which is used on the Moencom boards and the Dutch Star boards, which is how I've got my Motorola stuff set up. Um, and this is also going to an outside external antenna. So we'll uh, we'll see if it works. Hopefully it does. Um, I've got my ID31 here. I'm using it on a simplex uh, 70 centimeter frequency, 438.925, which is a frequency we can use in Australia for simplex D-Star operation. And I've got the uh, radio on the D-Star UHF number four. So in theory, I should be able to key up on the uh, ID31 and you'll see the uh, the radio receive and hear my voice coming out of the speaker microphone. Well, I'm, I'm, it, it is coming out of the speaker microphone. It's probably hard to tell on a video, but uh, we'll see what happens. This is VK5 video, and you can hear the echo of the, of the delay. Okay, we'll go around to the, uh, where you can see the LED on the, yep, you see the green LED for receive. Okay, and uh, conversely, I can transmit on here, and hopefully, one, two, three. Okay, you can see the red, red LED, and my voice is coming out of the ID31. I'll turn it up a bit louder. One, two, one, two, three. There we go. And we can see the information on the screen there as well. And also, if I go like this, you can see the Motorola radio is keying up. Very good. Okay, so uh, that's working. Um, the call signs are configured using the control center software, and um, they are stored internally, and when you unplug it from the computer, it remembers what the last call signs were. Not very flexible in the fact that you can't change it on the fly very easily, or at all. Um, there is also an optional uh, small OLED display which can work with this board and will display incoming call signs as they're being received. Um, I mean, think about getting one of those as well and somehow mounting it on the board so I can see incoming call signs coming through. So what I'll do now is I'll change the, uh, change the channel and we'll go to the VK5REX channel which is the D-Star repeater I've got here and we'll go back down to uh, Okay, so now we've got it configured. I've already configured the call signs in here for repeater 1 as VK5REXB and repeater 2 as VK5REXG. So this should just work straight through the repeater, uh, which is about two, hundred and, uh, two and a half kilometers away from me. So if I key up on here, hopefully there's not too much desensing. I've got this on low power, I hope. Okay, yep, low power. And uh, we'll see what happens. This is vk 5 zf Testing. Testing. One, two, three. One, two, three. I think I've got the microphone gain set up a little high on this, and it does sound a little bit like it's flat-topping through the vocoder, but um, 
that uh, that's adjustable in software. One two. One two. Okay, and conversely, I can go back. Okay, so it's decoding my call sign. Let's uh, go the other way. Let's transmit to the repeater through the ID thirty one. One two three. One two three. There's a bit more of a delay. There's a bit more of a delay. But it is decoding the D star perfectly. Perfectly. Okay, so the next thing I'll do is. Um, I'm not sure if anyone's out there, but I'll link up the repeater to DCS 14 Bravo, which is the Australian DCS reflector. Just bear with me while I uh, link up. Let's see if it works. Okay, so it's telling me the module is linked. And I'll just put a call out. No one's talking. Make sure there's a bit of a silent period before I key up. And I'll see if I can talk to someone through this, uh, this configuration through the repeater. This is VK5ZEA testing. wonder if anyone's listening on reflector the DCS14 Bravo. VK5ZEA standing by. Someone might be there. If not, I'm talking to myself. I think it was VK3EME, uh, receive you, uh, okay, how are you receiving this end, over? There we go. Uh, VK3EME, VK5ZEA, receiving you loud and clear. Just uh, shooting a short video for YouTube showing the uh, German DV repeater board in operation as a standalone front end uh, to make any radio a D-Star radio, and I'm actually using a Motorola MCS 2000 radio for RF here. So uh, I'm talking to you on a Motorola D Star radio. Uh, back to you. Hello, I think it is Michael. Uh, just uh, caught it out in the corner of my eye. Uh, name this way is Mark. I'm not sure whether I got that programmed in to go across the so street. It's receiving. Okay, on the, uh, the motor, Motorola device. So I take it it's not one of the. Uh, uh, digital devices. Um, I, you said you were using a, uh, a German-made board uh, to uh, create the, uh, the digital stream, I, uh, I presume, over. Roger, that's correct, Mark. Yes, the name is Michael, and uh, in Port Lincoln in South Australia. And uh, yes, there was a Motorola uh, UHF radio, 70 centimetre radio, but yeah, the, the German DB repeater board is uh, generating and decoding the GMSK D star signal. And uh, I've got a speaker microphone plugged into that. And uh, like I said, just shooting a short video for YouTube. And so, so many thanks for coming back. Um, this video will be uploaded to YouTube a bit later and uh, just as a demonstration of how this, uh, how this thing works. And uh, very pleased with the performance of this so far. Um, it, it'll basically turn any radio into a D-Star radio, so uh, it's, a, it's a lot of fun. Uh, back to you, Mark. And he's gone. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, no worries at all. Oh, there Michael, uh, I see something else scrolling across the screen there, but... Uh uh, and didn't uh, catch any audio with it. And, uh, oh, excellent job anyway. Uh, it uh, sounds quite good. Uh, just the same as any of the others. Yeah, just working through a uh, uh, DV hotspot put in by uh, VJ3CE here in Bendigo. And uh, pretty uh, new to D-Star. <laughs> well up with everything that's happening in regards to it all. But uh, no worries and OK on the YouTube video. There, uh, I pop on there every now and again just to see what uh, what pops up new uh, amateur radio wise, but uh, there's certainly a a large amount of uh, well uh, information placed on there. <laughs> Probably uh, spend a lifetime going through it all. All right, we'll let you continue on with your uh, video uh, enterprises, and uh, I'll continue on with what I'm up to. Uh, might head inside shortly. The mosquitoes are starting to uh, uh, come around here.
VK uh, five uh, ZEA, uh, VK three EME Bendigo cleared. Cheerio. Yep, seven threes, Mark. Many thanks for the contact. And uh, yeah, don't let those mosquitoes get you. And that's uh, this time of the year they're starting to come out. So many thanks for the contact. And hopefully we'll catch up with you soon. And uh, if you go to YouTube, search for my call sign, VK5ZEA, and you'll find my lot of, virtually a lot of them are, are D-Star related videos on YouTube. So uh, check that out, and uh, we'll talk to you again soon. VK3EME, VK5ZEA. Okay, there you go. And I'll just change the channel so we don't get disturbed if anyone else talks. So there you go. Well, that's it. That's, um, that is a Motorola D-Star radio. Um, and in, in effect it could be any brand of radio as long as it's got um, uh, the six pin mini din socket for, a, for an amateur radio rig um, and can go into 9600 board mode or indeed with a commercial radio like the Motorola or any other radios that has a, a discriminator out and flat audio in to the modulator um, you can turn virtually any radio into a D-Star radio with this board um, unfortunately, this version of the uh, board is no longer available. The, uh, the, the team in Germany are working on the version 2 board, which has the uh, AmbiVocoder chip on board as well. So uh, looking forward to seeing how that, uh, that turns out. So uh, this is Michael, VK5ZEA. Thank you for watching. 7.3 for now, and we'll talk to you again soon.